Hello everybody, this is the uh, Loon uh, LPC Loon Cam um, Post Nest Exam. Hi, I'm Ashley Keenan and I'm the field crew coordinator at LPC. I'm here with Jada Jink, a former LPC seasonal biologist who is here volunteering for a few days. We're going to take a look at the nest. Um, we know um, from the video that the parents, either parent, have been on the egg. So it's about 7 o'clock last night. So we're going to do an egg exam. And if it seems like the egg is inviable, we're going we're gonna to take the egg um, back to LPC where we archive the egg and can use it for different research um, in the future. So, there's definitely no pip in the egg, so we know that there was no chick attempting to hatch at this time. And given the weight, and feels pretty sloshy um, and cold that I think we can confidently say that the, the egg is inviable, so we're going to take it with us. Um, it's LPC protocol that when found, um, when you find an egg on a nest, uh, typically what we like to do is to mark an egg and then revisit the egg in 24 hours uh, to see if the parents have moved that egg or rolled that egg. Um, we don't need to do that in this situation because of the this being on camera. We've had eyes on it. Um, but if you find an egg in the wild, it is important that you mark the egg and then revisit it 24 hours later to see if it's been turned. And it's always good to contact LPC uh, before touching an egg and even more important to wear, you know, your rubber gloves and safety. Um, you know, protection, not to contaminate the egg or to, you know, keep yourself safe. So what's the reason for uh, the rubber gloves when you do this? Um, well, again, we're, ke we're keeping the egg from contaminating the egg with, um, you know, the oils from our hands, um, things such as that. We do test the these eggs. Certain eggs get tested for, um, like I said, for different research. Um, and so by using a, a rubber glove, we know that we're not contaminating it um, with anything that we might have on our skin, as well as not, we're not being contaminated by what could be on the egg. So I think, uh, I know everybody put in some questions, uh, but the questions seem to have rolled off my, uh, my YouTube uh, so if you please just copy paste them back in again, we'll we'll start from there. While Ashley is uh, we've been cleaning out the yeah. uh, shells and stuff. The other thing we do is we keep the egg shells. This also goes into the LPC archive. Um, you know, for what could be future research, or if we have to revisit a site. Um, or have questions in the future, we'll have the eggshells. Ashley, is it normal for one egg to hatch? Um, yeah, I think it's uh, it's normal for one egg to hatch and the other one to not hatch. I can't say for sure the percentage of nests that that happens. Jaden, would you know? I uh, know, I don't know that. Yeah, I don't know the exact percentage where one egg hatches and the other one does not or is um, not viable. Um, but I would say, yeah, it's, it's fairly common. So uh, what's the consistency? Do you think it's uh, normal con normal thickness of the shells? Is it thin, thick? What, what do you um, think? Right now, the egg seems like fairly normal. Um, it just is heavier. Um, which makes me feel that there's not, um, you know, a chick where it would be lighter. There's not a developed um, chick in there. Um, what we're going to do when we get back to LPC is we're going to take an x-ray of the egg and see if we can identify um, any, any um, you know, sort of fetus in there or what have you. Can an egg um, 
ever be unfertilized so like it never starts incubating at all? I think so. Can it? Mm -hmm. I don't know. Yeah, I'm not 100%. Exactly. Not I know that we have eggs, certainly we have um, loon pairs that nest yearly and um, they overset on the eggs. It just seems like the eggs are never viable year huh. after year. So I think that is a question that crosses our mind is, you know, one of the pair members not fertile to begin with. And why is it that some eggs um, are not fertilized? Um. So there's a, um, oh, with the camera down, how will we know what develops with this egg? Uh, ask Gail, and I mean, I think the answer there is pretty obvious. You sign up for the um, LPC's uh, newsletter. Yeah. Uh, it's a free newsletter. You sign up on the loon.org uh, website. And uh, that, that newsletter is sent out, what, like every month during the season and every yeah. quarter afterwards. And uh, that can have pictures in it and things like that. And so we'll ask uh, Caroline's the editor of that, or are you the editor of that? Um, Caroline will be the editor, editor, or Harry. So, yeah, what we'll do is we, um, after we take x-rays of this egg, um, we'll, we'll certainly, if there's findings, um, let people know. So... What's your thoughts about the loon knowing that the egg is inviable? Is it, is it that they know it's been 48 hours and they sh probably shouldn't hatch it anyway, or do you think they don't feel it? Uh, any, any thoughts there? Um, it's probably a little bit of a combination of both. I mean, we know that that egg hatched 48 hours ago. Um, 48 hours ago, and um, so after that time, I mean, the parents have to make a decision because, you know, you got to start caring for the one that did hatch. So that, you know, the newly hatched chick is going to start, you know, peeping and needing food and all that. So after 48 hours, I think the parents have to, um, you know, move on to caring for the chick and less being so attentive to the nest, to staying close to the nest. Um, so does LPC ever ban chicks? Um, rarely. We would certainly wouldn't ban them this young. Um, but uh, as they get towards a fledging age, if they are captured, um, we, would, we would ban them. Um, if we were to rescue one, we would ban them. Um, and that has to do with some confidence that their tarsus is done growing and we can um, make sure that we have the proper band that yeah. will fit it as it Right, it has to be a lifetime into, band, right? Yeah, yeah, as it grows into an adult. Yeah. So... So, uh, this question is about thoughts about the nest quality. This was obviously a goose nest before it became a loon nest. <laughs> yeah. Um, but, um, I mean, you know, you, you renovated it pretty well. Yeah, I mean, I think this is a great, like, this is a beautiful bowl. And as far as nest quality, like, loons couldn't ask for a better substrate to be on. I'm going to take a picture. Well, I, actually, I can't yeah. take a picture and keep my YouTube I up. mean, there's definitely enough uh, material on that raft um, I think it's a very, I think it's a great bowl, right? Well, this, this <laughs> I one mean, has this a, is beautiful. This one has challenges because of the rock and rolling going on with all the wake. Sure. And, and we've seen uh, when this, this nest had a lot less uh, material in it, we've seen eggs start to roll off and yeah. the loons had to re recover it and so yeah. forth. So. I mean, ideally with these loon wraps, over time, growth starts to take, it's, it starts to become its own little, like, habitat, you know, so you get... Um, plants that grow back and as that sort of takes form then you get like the ultimate loon raft because so the substrate doesn't there. fall off with wake yeah. and um, boat yeah. rock and stuff like this this is one um because it's you know one that we maintain for the loon camera we can certainly um ensure that the there's enough nest material and um and help that along as we did when the when the goose got off you know, there's a quick rehab, <laughs> a quick makeover. Yes, yes. Um, to just try to ensure that the loons had the best. Can you, uh, do, do you know the history of this couple? Um, I don't overly know the history of this couple. I know, I couldn't tell you what year they were banded. This is my third year at LPC. And this is the same wheelback couple that has been here. For all three years. For the time that I've been right. here. I'm sure there's even a greater history to that. Yeah. And that's something that we could um, provide more information with the egg and stuff. My understanding is this is 
not this particular nest, but this location is one of LPC's first nests ever. Mm -hmm. You know, and so it's uh, it, uh, calling it the LPC Hilton sometimes because yeah. it has so many different tenants as, as the years go on. Sure, yeah. And I know it was uh, maybe right before you got here, there was a, a territorial uh, dispute. Mm -hmm. There were five loons around and nobody ended up taking the nest. And so there was, you know, it just didn't yeah. happen. But that's the first time or maybe the, the second or third time in like 20 years that that had happened. Mm -hmm. And so uh, we had two chicks here last year. Yep. And um, and then, well, one and the chick. year before, I think we had two maybe hatched and one survived. Yeah, yeah. Last year, I think one survived one as well. Survived as well, yeah. So, uh, and that's bound to happen, you know, in any territory. Though, I would think every few years somebody's going to come in and test how good they're holding it down. Well, we saw that in you know? Loon Camp One as well. <laughs> last year, there was yeah. no um, no nesting. Yeah. And then uh, a new female came this year, mm -hmm. and unsuccessfully, but at least it was, you know, maybe next year she'll have better, yeah. better luck. Yeah, yeah, that loon seemed um, like maybe she was getting familiar with the nesting process. Right. And was <laughs> new to rafts or what have you, her territory. Yeah. Um, so I think, you know, with experience, they get better at what they're doing. So, so somebody wonders about my uh, t-shirt. This is uh, Peace, uh, Love, and Loons, New Hampshire. And this is, um, you can get this from the uh, Loon store uh, at the uh, Loon Center. And probably worth putting in a plug for the uh, both the uh, survey uh, mm -hmm. coming up, the census coming up on Saturday mm -hmm. morning, as well as the Loon Festival um, Saturday afternoon. Do you want to give Saturday. some details on the census for people that want to participate in that? Um, so for the census, if you want to participate, Yes, you can contact LPC, um, or you can go on our website, and there's information on how to participate. And basically, we, you know, given the body of water that you're on, there's a certain amount of time allotted for volunteers to go out, kind of stay in one area, and uh, count how many loons are are seen, and then you report that information back to us. Um, and it's it's super helpful um, for us. Um, given how much we're monitoring to also see what um, our volunteers are seeing out there. Yeah, as I remember, well. there's a, a both an online uh, form that you can go on to on moon.org. Mm -hmm. I mean, I don't know where the menu it is. Yeah, but, it's on there for sure. And you can uh, there's also a PDF that you can download and, and, and fill that out and drop it off or mail it in. Yeah. Uh, yeah, and I think and it's I an hour. Everyone. Yeah, I think I encourage it's only a everyone. one hour period. And, and uh, I participated last year. I saw a couple of loons and reported them. And yeah. It's, I've got a, a gaggle of, uh, or they call, what's, a, what's a, a, a bunch of loons called? It's not a gaggle. It's, it's called an asylum. An asylum. <laughs> okay, yep. I've, got, I've got an asylum of uh, six loons that I keep seeing, and uh, it just recently turned into seven. Mm -hmm. And at night they just go crazy. You know, they're yeah. all like harassing each other, and you know, sure. and so it's, it's been a lot of fun for that. Um, all right, what else do we have here? Oh, we have our loon pair out there over there, out that way, calling away. Um, so somebody's mentioning an, a, um, an eagle around here, and we, we did see an eagle uh, about a week ago. Yeah. But I don't think, I, I mean, I haven't noticed it on the camera ever since then, and the loons, I mean, the loon flushed the day that we saw the eagle. It was sitting actually on a yeah. rock back there, or in the muck. Yeah. And... Um, but we haven't seen the eagle harassing the uh, the loon chick at all. I haven't seen the eagles harassing the loons this season. But, I mean, there's definitely an eagle um, pair that reside in this area of uh, the lake. So um, the loons are, are pre pretty well equipped for that. Um, and with any luck, you know, the eagle will just find other things to eat. <laughs> um, and... Uh, and so, leave our loons alone. But, yeah, really. You know, <laughs> I can't. Yeah, I can't foretell what the it, eagles it, are going to do day to day. And um, it can be eagles, let the loons be loons, yeah, right? So, right. Um, so somebody asked me a question in Spanish. Anybody speak Spanish? I don't. So yeah, I can't. I can't. Sorry. sorry. I, I, I I recognize original to LPC. Uh, uh, sorry. Um, do you know what happened to that one loon? last year in this nest. You know, we ended up with one surviving and one 
my understanding it was taken by an eagle on its way to the, the brooding ground. I believe so, yeah. So something. we had gotten a report from volunteers that had seen the eagle being uh, uh, harassing the pair and taking one of the chicks. Yeah, they both swam off. It's just that one didn't make it. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. Yeah. Um, let's see if there's any other questions that... If I only knew Spanish, I could answer. Um, okay, well, I think uh, we've answered everybody's questions. Um, oh, <laughs> the, 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 the question was actually a response, so we'll have to run that through Google Translate later. And oh, okay, out, and find out what, that, what it yeah, was. I'm sorry, I just, I just, um, I speak English and uh, uh, programming languages, and that's about it. a very small amount of French. Yeah. <laughs> Um, great. Well, I think we're, uh, we're set. What I'm going to do uh, is, uh, once I get home, um, we're, we're, I don't know if we're going to x-ray this today or not. If we get a chance to do that, uh, we'll, we'll do that before I head home, and then I'll be able to give you a report on what the x-ray was. Yeah, what it, what um, it And if we're not able to do that today, um, I'll, I'll be shutting the, the camera off before 5, most likely, and, um, and then we'll... Uh, We'll, we'll make sure the information's in the newsletter. Yeah, that sounds real good. Great. Well, so, thank you, everybody. Thank it's you. been a great thank season. The chatters us. have been great. And uh, we'll, we'll see you next uh, next May, I guess. <laughs> yeah, that sounds good. I'm going to take a picture in here before we go. Yeah. Oh, don't forget to come to my wrap-up presentation at the Loon Center on uh, August 1st at 7 o'clock. Yeah, and Loon Festival this Saturday. Oh, yeah. two, to, 2 to 6, or two, 2 to 4 maybe, two to four, 10, to, 10 to 2. 10 to 2. 10 to 2. 10 to 2. And you get to dunk. A yes, you'll get to dunk one of our uh, field biologists. Um, you know, potentially Harry, maybe we'll put you in there, Bill. Oh, we'll yeah, see what happens. I better not show but up, right? We, there'll be food, there'll be arts and crafts, there'll be um, plenty of people to answer any questions you have. It's a great way to just, like, bring your family out for an event um, and spend a day with friends and, and um, you know, talking about loons. And Harry, if you're so, watching this, it's your turn to sit in the dumpster. Yeah, Harry, it might, it, might be, it might be your year, so. All right. All right, thank you so much. Bye-bye. I know, it's like, you know,